we're gonna give this a try with these guys. So fresh and so clean. So with the backer on, I can see it's, it's going too far for me. I want this to end on the seam that's back here. And up top, it's a little close to my slide lever. So I'm gonna trim this down with an X-Acto so I can check my blade and uh, we'll be back to actually fit it. All right, back with the oh, it's it's okay. Looks like we can pull a little bit of material back top along where the slide meets the frame looks good, but I'm still wanting plenty of access and don't want any of these locations covered over. So I'm gonna just quickly trim in there and maybe trim out my slide lever location just a little bit more. All right, back with my second cut down. We're good, now we're doing good. We should end up with a little bit of heat right where I need to be for this not to cover any controls or any takedown elements on this glove. Right, so I'm clearing my pin back here that keeps my cruciform in and clearing my mag release, obviously. Guys, that should be pretty clear. And then my slide lever. Good to go. So next, it's all about the back strap. Now they have their size been cut out so that you can fit um, anything through that. You know, whether it's a lanyard loop or if you want to put a plug in there, um, you still have access to an original hole. So um, for me, when I stipple my guns and I like to put a, any kind of grip surface on my guns, um, I like things a little bit higher into the tank. Um, again, you know, good grip application there. You want to be as high as possible on your gun, managing that recoil as best we can with good positive grip. But uh, for me, because I want to place this here and that's not technically how they've designed it, I'm going to go ahead and clear out this extra material that would otherwise invite itself into that back pin area. So if you can see what I'm doing here, over here is what I've cut, over here is what the original is. And again, because I'm lifting this up above of where it would normally sit on the back strap, I'm just trying to open that channel up so I have access to this pin here. Okay, you can see I have the back strap on here now. I've got plenty of clearance for the pin at the rear. So when I need to take my gun down and clean it, heel strip it, We've got plenty of access here. Um, so now I've got to take the heat application um, and put that into play. And you know, stuff like this, when you have laser cut grip surface materials that come in, um, don't bother me. Sometimes it bothers people. Is it ugly for the gram? Sure, um, but that's not what I outfit my guns for. So I actually use this hair dryer for more gun stuff than I do my own hair. Um, but we have to do a couple of heat passes to really make sure that this adheres to the gun according to the instructions. So we'll give that a go. All right, so we got a couple different applications of heat. Ready to rock and roll for tonight. Um, teaching a women's only skill builder, and this is going to get a little test drive tonight to ensure that it is, in fact, going to be something that I want to keep on the gun. Like I said, if I don't like it, I'll just pull it off and stipple my frame. No big deal. This guy was no help. Got it, got it.